What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Okay, so here's another episode, a cheap episode right here, and that is that we're going to be using the Explore Kit, and we're going to go into the Grand Underground. Why? Well, we need to explore that place just a little bit more. kind of want to see what's down there. I want to rant about a few things. Now, in our last episode, we did a little bit of a trade, and we did a little evolution. Uh, first off, we have finally traded Smoke to Shining Pearl and back. Ultra Psycho as well. And they both evolved, and here we have Smoke the Gengar. As you guys can see, it is a much more powerful Pokemon right here. And, uh, well... It has a cursed body. May disable a move used on the Pokemon, which is a very good move, a very good effect. And, uh, well, let's see. Where is its stats right here? Its stats are pretty good right here. It's a very speedy Pokemon. And uh, you guys have noticed we have Gaia. We finally evolved a Gaia that we've had at level 45. Don't know if we can use it just yet because of its leveling. But, as you guys can see, it is a very quiet nature. Special attack is through the roof. It's not the speediest Pokemon, but it is our most powerful Pokemon. So eventually, we're going to be using this Pokemon in 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 you know in future episodes and all that stuff. I did say in the last episode that I am going to eventually construct the Pokemon that I'm going to be using to finally complete this walkthrough because we all know that I don't necessarily like you know it's not my favorite game, but you know you guys have asked for it and I need to finish it so. Yeah, anywho, let's go right ahead and not do that and go straight into the Grand Underground. So, let's see. Yes, we're going to be doing that and we're going to be doing this. Okay, so the Grand Underground, I don't even know if I've even explained it, but this is kind of like the, uh, the open world Pokemon world over in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And every city, you'll be able to find yourself different kinds of uh, layers and all that stuff. And, well, there is a, a find a Diglett thing that, you know, everybody's doing right here. Now, if you guys can take a look at the map right there. If you press the R button, that right there is our locations of where you need to go. And then you're going to be able to see yourself a sparkle, like a yellow light. That right there is... That right there is hidden treasure where you can actually mine. And what we're going to be doing is, yes, we ping two, we ping two, uh, what was it called? Two items that are in here. You got a hammer and you got, or a pitchfork, and then you got, your, or not a pitchfork, it's a, it's a small hammer. And then you got the big hammer. Small hammer, if you take a look at the top portion right here, you're going to see small cracks. And, you know, it only hits one, one of few things. Now, if you... If you see right here, it's gonna be it's gonna be very difficult to try and find these items right here. It's a little game of cat and mouse. Now, if you go with the other hammer, it's gonna take double the spots. And as you guys can see, we found ourselves an item. So we're gonna do that. And there's one item down, and we just need to find the other one. And it looks like it's gonna be right here. And it looks like to me we're not going to be able to find it. Yeah, I, like, usually when this happens, I'm going to just, I just hit away and it's like, just say fuck it because, yeah. So, we've only found one item. And from here, you're going to be finding yourself a red sphere. Which is cool. Fantastic. Nothing, uh, well, it, it, it is a good item to have right there. But eventually you'll be able to find yourself some, uh, what was it called, some... Uh, some uh, fossils, some, uh, well, even rare items. I, again, I haven't played this game very much to, to tell you what exactly you could find. So we're going to go right here. And we're going to keep on digging yet again. And it looks like we got three items confirmed. And I might as well use this. It's more space. And those black... Yeah, you're going to be finding a whole bunch of black tiles right there. And... Yeah, for me, I'm just like, I'm hammering away. And there it is. Okay, so. Look at that. Okay. And there we go. So the other item, I, it might be right here. Nope. Yeah, I'm not really good at, at trying to find these, these, uh, these items right here. And there you are. Okay, so. And it's a small item. 
So the next one is probably a big, a small item right here. But I'm just going to keep on hammering away. And <laughs> Oh, it's right there. And we didn't get to it. Okay, so the wall has collapsed. And from here, we're going to be finding two spheres. Always nice. Okay, so now you guys are taking a look at the question marks right there. Those are Pokemon rooms. Those are rooms where you can find uh, different kinds of Pokemon. And the Pokemon here, the the leveling depends on uh, the leveling that kind kind of depends on where you're at right here. They are stronger than the usual ones, and sometimes you'll be able to find yourself a rare Pokemon that won't be appearing on the Pokédex. Like, not really Bidoof, but yeah, Bidoof. And here's a wild Bidoof. Oh my God, surprising. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm just going to be beating up some Bidoofs and all that stuff. And hopefully this Bidoof doesn't beat me. As you guys can see, it withstood that attack right here. And here comes a Crunch attack. Some of these Pokemon will have some rare moves. Very, very rare moves. So, we're going to be going again, Mod Punch. And just like that, Bidoof has been defeated. Yeah, we, we, we own this place right here. And we do get a little bit more experience points down here than what we do in, in like a regular battle. So there's a, uh, a Badoof. A Badoof. And we're going to get attacked by a friggin' Zubat. Oh my god. Now, I was thinking of getting myself, uh, what was his name? Um, Toxic Batman on my team because it's fast and all that. But I really, really, really want to try uh, Gengar on our team right here. So. We're gonna go with that, and it is now in in flames. And well, here comes a bite attack. That doesn't hurt us very much. And oh my God, you are now burnt, my friend. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and press that X button right there. And we're gonna throw a great ball now. I, I probably should stock up on some great balls or a little bit more poke balls now that we're able to. And. There it is, throwing out the peace sign. Okay, all right, there we go. And we got ourselves Toxic Batman right here, or Zubat. And uh, yes, we're gonna give it a nickname. I haven't caught many Pokemon just because, uh, you know, I've only been playing this game for like, what, two episodes a week. But since I have a lot of time right now, I'm taking advantage of that. So I'm gonna try and capture as many as I can. So we're gonna go right here, Toxic Bat. Man, alrighty, and it is actually a man. I might, I might use it. I might evolve it. Who knows? We'll find out next time, next episode, probably. And no, we are not trying to replace a Pokemon right now. So let's go ahead and send it to the box. And well, let's see. We don't want to get attacked by a Badoo because it's not daytime or anything like that. And there's a Psyduck right there. So again, there there will be times where you'll be able to find yourself a rare Pokemon right here, guys. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to buy myself a nice amount of Pokeballs. So I'll be right back with you guys after I get these Pokeballs. Okay, so we're back, guys. And this time, we're in the Grand Underground on the internet. So there might you might be able to see a few people walk around. They're, trust me, they're not friends. I don't even know them, but I guess... We don't like to play alone or anything like that. So let's see. What does this guy do? Got any small spheres? If you do, I'll trade you for some. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now because I, I barely I barely even do anything with, uh, in, in the underground. So let's go right ahead and keep on digging. We found three, and they've made it hard for me to do stuff right here. And it looks like to me... Oh, man. I'm going to be wasting a lot of turns right here. Let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going with the big hammer just because. And here we go. And it looks like to me we're going to have like some small items. Oh, here we go. And well, the, the last one's always a hard one right here. And yeah, I'm just doing it now just for fun. And <laughs> the wall collapsed and I found two out of the three. That's usually a good thing right there, right guys? Who knows? And what we're going to be doing now is, you know what, let's go into a, another room right here. I see one, and I really want to take a look at what this is all about. Now, every single room has its different typing, guys. Just be aware of that. If you go in and out, you might be able to find yourself a rare Pokemon. Um, as you guys can see, we've been finding a lot of Diglets. 
the number has been increasing and yeah we're fighting nothing but Bidoof's our lord and saviors and here is a Machop and looks like to me this is yeah this is not gonna help out right now so let's go into another area right here let's see you know we can go downstairs I want to see what the downstairs part is I think I've already been well it looks like to me we've, we've already been there and there is a Murkrow I want that Murkrow let's go right ahead and swap some Pokemon right here so let's go with Hydra at level 28 and uh, <laughs> I'm not running away but yeah I'm not gonna get hit with this Pokemon real quickly so here we are there is a Murkrow and well we're gonna be kicking some butt taking some names right here so Hydra you have lowered its attack and it is at level 30 let's go with a waterfall attack and there we go and that hits it pretty hard right there now I what was the whistle for if you guys can explain to me what that is that would be awesome now we did get ourselves quite a few ultra balls so yes you, your boy here is trying to capture everything and wow Murko Murko is not gonna let me like let me capture it real quickly so we're gonna have to try it again and damn it quick to the courier Never mind. Okay, so we have defeated uh, Murkrow. And that right there levels up Hydra. Yeah, I, I, I don't get... I don't get why they make this area the place to be when it comes to, like, leveling up your Pokemon properly. It's... Yeah, it's confusing, but... Whatever. And... We have a ping right here, so let's go right ahead. And... See what we got. Okay, so this should be easy. Let's see, right here. Or just go with this. Here. Right here. Right here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so... If you guys can take a look at this, this is a rare item that... Very difficult to find, and this usually... It did takes... It did takes a room... When, uh... When trying to attract a Pokemon, obviously that's electric type and all that stuff, so I'm gonna be good with that. And yeah, I'm just hitting everything and anything, guys. I'm not really <laughs> I'm not much of a fan of this game, this this whole thing. And uh What we found is a gorgeous stone box, and this right here opens up and it reveals to it itself to be a specific Pokemon. We found ourselves a Rotom statue. That right there, like I said, it will attract different types of Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well, here we have another one. Let's go with this one right here. And... Found three, so I'm gonna... Ah, here we go. Found another one. Okay, so we're gonna go... Oh, another Electro-type. Okay, so... That's one. And... Let's see. How about there? Ah, here we go. Ah, found three. Look at that. We're going to finally complete. We're going to complete everything. All right, so we found all three. Ha! Huh. That is fun. And from there, we found a sphere and another box, an electric box. And from there, what we're going to be finding is another Rotom. Okay. Whatever, man. All right, let's go into this big room right here. I kind of want to see what this is all about right here and hopefully we'll find a different kinds of Pokemon and this is the volcanic cave obviously you're gonna be finding yourself some uh, pretty interesting Pokemon like look at this we found a Houndoom I am probably gonna capture that look at that we found a wild hand Houndoom and hopefully this Pokemon is like at a very good level and all that so there it is attack the attack has fallen it's at level 29 Let's go with a waterfall attack right here. And that will defeat Houndoom. Yeah, that was not capturing the Pokemon, but it will level up our Pokemon, which is good, I guess. Probably. I don't know. Uh, we, 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 we do see two, uh, what was it called? Onyxes. And uh, hopefully, well, hopefully we'll find something else. Look at that. Skoropi's right there. I want to try something, okay? I'm going to go in and out of the place and 
Well, hopefully we will find ourselves another Pokemon, another rare Pokemon. So here we are in the Volcanic Cave again. There's a Skoropi, there's a Geodude. Uh, a few Onyxes. Uh, yeah, it looks like to me we're not going to be able to find ourselves the Pokemon we want. And it, that whistle is from the Diglett Cave or the Diglets or something like that. Okay, and we're going to go down here. Not get attacked by any of these Pokemon. You'd be amazed how fast some of these Pokemon can be. It is just... It is just crazy and stuff. So, let's go right here. And, well, there is another Onyx. Oh, we got another crack at a Houndoom. So, let's go ahead and grab that Houndoom. And, let's see what we got. Okay, so here's Houndoom. And, Hydra. Please don't, don't make this Pokemon faint. Kind of want to see what the level of this Pokemon is. So. We are in a volcanic area. This is a level 32 Houndoom, so let's go right ahead and use a crunch attack right here. And, oh wow. It has Destiny Bond. So we better not make this Pokemon faint. Okay, so not so effective, but we can we can work with that. Here comes a Fire Fang. And Hydra not getting, uh, well, it's not effective. And there we go. Let's try it. Yeah, let's lower its defense. Okay, so its physical defense has gone down. So let's go again. Another crunch attack, and we're going to get hit by another flame, uh, a fire fang, and all that stuff. And, well, there you go. Not so effective. Let's go ahead and use an Ultra Ball right here. Hopefully, it will be able to capture this Pokemon. And there's one. There's two. There's three. I am about to throw the peace sign. <laughs> so there it is guys we found we got ourselves a houndoom and smoke has grown to level 34 and as you guys can see i think we've already had a, a houndoom in a pokedex so what we're going to do is we're going to be calling her hera after the pokemon platinum houndoom that we got and we're going to send it to the box so we're slowly but surely filling up the pokedex right here and we're going to get the heck out of here now i do want to visit one more place I do want to visit one more place before we we finish off this episode. Yes, I know it's kind of like a cheap episode of me to do to do this whole thing right here, guys. But you know, it's po like you guys wanted to see a little bit more. I'm giving it to you. So here we go. Let's go ahead and find ourselves some more uh, buried treasure. And we had two we have two uh, pings. And yeah, what are the odds of me finding finding those parts? Or oh, look at this. Okay. Right here. And this is a different one, so there we go. There it is. And there it is. Another one. Here we go. Okay, so that's two. Oh wow. Oh, we won't Yeah, we won't be able to get that. So, we got ourselves a box, and this is a gorgeous stone box, and from here, what exactly are we going to get? Wow, a Bastiodon, and it's a lot shinier. I believe the higher the shine, the better the, the kind of effect it, it has, probably. So, let's go right here, and continue on the little, uh, oh, look at that, we found that guy, and... More, more buried treasure right here. So let's go right ahead and get that. So let's see. Two, three pings. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. And yeah, those black stones are usually. Yeah, that. those are party poopers right there. And that's one. Oh, here we go. And that's the other one. So we. Wait, did it say two pings or three pings? Probably three. I just wasted my turn right there. I don't care. <laughs> and what we have found is a blue sphere and ourselves a an ice stone or a pretty stone. Pretty stone. And from there, we're going to get ourselves a bronzong statue. Not bad. Not bad at all. And, well, let's see. 
I could have gone the uh, I could have gone the other way, but I'm gonna go right here. And dig up more treasure, I guess. Alright. Ah, oh, here we go. So we're not wasting a lot. And I'm trying to control this god dang thing. Alright, so there we go. Oh, there we go. We found ourselves a ghost type one. And maybe that's a dark type. And let's see. I just like to play with a big hammer. Just da 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 da, you know? And well, what we're going to get is a pretty stone. And let's see what we got. This is a Murkrow. Okay. So our collection is filling up pretty nicely. And what we're going to do right now, guys, is I am going to go down to the bottom, well, to the bottom uh, room right here. And who is this? Hello. I'm, Sa I'm Seamus. The ground underground is really massive. You should keep your eye on the map as you go until you don't, don't get lost. Okay. It's pretty cool. So let's go right here and see what, what room we're going to be running into. And it looks like it's a rocky cave. As you guys can see, there's a Rhyhorn, Scoropi, Onyx. You're going to be finding yourself an item that is a TMO4 Calm Mind. And... Well, yeah, all you're going to be finding are these desert Pokemon right here. Any any other rare Pokemon around? Anywhere? Oh, man, Pokemon, you have failed massively with with this grand underground bull, you know what. Okay, you know what? I was thinking of just finishing it off right there, but I kind of want to go for one more before I finish off right here, so let's see. Right here. And let's go. And we're going to be pinging. Ah, here we go. There's one. And there you go, another completion, okay. Okay, so what exactly are we gonna be finding right here? It's a pretty stone and it is a bug type and... Oh, look at that, Vispa Queen. Not a bad one. All right, let's go ahead and find ourselves that last area. Patrick has entered the ground underground. I don't even know who Patrick is, but he seems like a cool dude. And, well, there's nothing there. Ah, here we go. And, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is a new one. And, there you go. I forget. That's probably a uh, what was it called? Um, the, the plate stone for Arceus and all that. So there's that, and a Draco plate. Okay, so I guess I was right. And well, I'm gonna do that. We found ourselves another dig a Diglet, I should say. And we're gonna go into this room right here and see if it's an a, a, a very good room. So let's see. A spacious cave. So the spacious cave will have more so of the of the same Pokemon, including Psyduck. Oh my God! Okay, what a drag! What a what a drag! Okay, so we're gonna go up. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do that. No, not that. Let's do that. Let's go back up. And yes. And that is pretty much the whole thing guys i know it's just a cheap episode and all that stuff but i never showed you exactly what you could do down there so stay tuned guys in the next episode we're going to be going to pastoria city so yeah i'll see you guys next time i guess